In this series of episodes, we are examining actual original artifacts at the Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas, artifacts that challenge evolutionary theory. We've seen that leading spokesmen for the evolutionary movement have said if you find man and dinosaur living contemporaneously, that'll destroy evolutionary theory. Dr. Ernst Mayer challenged Dr. Duane Gish in a live debate by saying, why, if your friends could find man and dinosaur living contemporaneously, that would blow evolution out of the waters. And then the challenge was further made that if it could be proved that something like a complicated mammal, perhaps a horse, could be found in rock assigned 500 million years in age, that would completely destroy evolutionary theory. Now remember those ages are simply assigned. You can get essentially any age you want out of any rock, just run a different type test. But the rocks are assigned ages assuming evolution to have occurred. What? Find a complicated mammal like a horse in rock that's supposed to be 500 million years old? Let's do better than that. Here we have the Meister print. The Meister print was found in very hard slate among trilobites assigned an age, according to evolutionary interpretation, assigned an age of 650 million years in the Cambrian. But amazingly, this artifact has a trilobite, an Arathia gingii trilobite, here in the footprint, and the overlay material that was pulled off also has another Arathia gingii trilobite. What is this artifact? It is a human sandal print with where on the outside and the back of the heel, stitching around the side on both sides, the curvature at the front of the sandal print terminating about an inch and a quarter before the end of this very, very hard Cambrian slate rock. Actually, this was made by a human being. And it's at the bottom of the geologic column. Not only the sandal print was made by a human being, but in addition to that, the print was made by a human being stepping on at least two Arathia gingii trilobites. This establishes that man was present at the bottom of the geologic column, but for evolution to have any plausibility at all, man has to develop at the top of the geologic column in recent times. Here we have proof in sedimentary rock on a worldwide scale that the entire history of the biota of living systems does not demonstrate evolutionary development, but instead demonstrates episodes in a worldwide flood. And at the bottom of the column, man was present. The only plausible explanation for this artifact is that creation is the answer. The God of the Bible is demonstrated to be exactly who he claims he is, and the Bible is demonstrated to be exactly what it claims to be, the word of the living God.